What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to answer problem 2-53 of Thornton and Marion, 5th edition. The problem reads, which of the following forces are conservative? If conservative, find the potential energy U. So letter A, the X component of the force given by A, Y, Z plus BX plus C, the Y component of F is equal to AXZ plus BZ and the Z component of F is equal to AXY plus BY and then letter B and letter C. As you can recall for letter A and that in order for a force to be conservative it must satisfy this equation wherein the curl of the force must be equal to zero. Okay, given that the force is in x y and z components okay so let's do the curl so curl of f is given by i hat j hat k hat so you get you just get the, this determinant Partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, and partial derivative with respect to z. This will be fx, fy, and fc. So going this, uh, taking this determinant, we now have i times partial derivative of f, z, with respect to y, minus partial derivative of f, uh, with respect to z minus j hat times partial derivative of f z respect to x minus partial derivative of f respect to x uh, with respect to z sorry plus k hat plus partial derivative of y respect to x minus partial derivative of y f x with respect to y okay so let's take the derivative the sixth derivative. So start with x components. So the x component would be derivative of f z with respect to x. So this is ax. And then minus derivative of f of y. Oh, sorry, this would be with respect to y. Yeah, so there's there should be plus b here. And then minus derivative of f of y with respect to z. So this becomes uh, negative ax minus b. And then minus j hat derivative of f of z with respect to x. So this becomes ay. And then derivative of f of x with respect to z. So this becomes minus ay. And then the last component will be the x component this becomes a z minus a z so you will notice that everything will cancel therefore the curl is equal to zero okay so that means f is conservative now how about uh, to find the potential so getting the potential so we know that the force is related to the potential energy by this equation wherein the negative gradient of u which is the potential energy is equal to f so in component form this becomes negative partial derivative of u respect to x i hat minus partial derivative of u with respect to y j hat minus partial derivative of u with respect to z k hat so we can easily solve this by one component at a time so for example for x the x component of the force 
is equal to the negative derivative of u respect to x. This is equal to ayz plus bx. Sorry, it should be bx plus c. Okay, so we can solve this by just taking the integral. So this becomes integral of du, which is equal to negative integral of ayz plus bx plus z dx. So this gives us u equals negative axyz minus 2bx squared minus cx times sine, times sine times, uh, plus uh, some function f which is independent of x. So that means it is only a function or maybe a function of only y and z. So we're going to do this for y as well where f of y or a y component of f would be negative derivative of u with respect to y. It's equal to axz plus bc. So doing the integration again, similar to this uh, uh, this way, we are going to uh, find that u would be equal to negative axyz minus b y z plus some function let's call this uh, another function where in this time it is independent of y so this will be a function of x and z so let's call this f1 let's call this f2 and then lastly for z or f of z will be equal to negative derivative of u with respect to z which is equal to a x y plus b y okay and doing the same integral we find that u is all is equal to negative a x y z minus b y z plus some function that is uh, dependent only on u x and y okay so if we're going to combine this equation this equation and this equation let's call this equation one equation two and equation three the potential energy will now be equal to x as a function of x y z will now be equal to you just take the common uh, term so that's negative a x y z minus b y z minus one half b x squared minus cx plus some constant c so this is now your potential energy function so you will notice here that if we're going to analyze uh, our method you will see that this term that we set for the first integral is actually uh, this term which is similar to both terms. Now, these two terms, F2 and F3, which is function of X, C for F2, and XY for F3. So you will notice that these two functions actually correspond to these two terms. Okay, so remember that this is only maybe a function of X and or Z. In this case, this is actually only a function of x. And this is equal to negative 1 half bx squared minus cx. And then the rest, just to complete the integral, we actually have to define this constant, which is an arbitrary constant. And we all know that this can be determined by defining the value of your potential energy u at some reference point x, y, and z. Okay, so that's it. That's a solution to problem 2.53, letter A of Marlon and Thornton. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.